All right, this video goes out there to all my frustrated parents who are trying to uh, steer their kids from messing around when they're supposed to be doing schoolwork. Um, so what I'm mostly covering is this only really applies to Xfinity. I'm pretty sure Comcast has their own settings or your, your current uh, internet provider probably has their own settings that you can go in there and, and play with. But uh, currently I only have Xfinity running on my home. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to log into your Xfinity router, which is just, uh, I'm connect, connected up to my, uh, my router via um, Wi-Fi, but you could be hardwired or even Wi-Fi and it'll still let you log into it which the port IP for it would be 10.0.0.1. Now I've actually re reached out to Xfinity one time because I was like, well, what's my username and password? How do I get into it? I have no idea. And they misunderstood and they kept telling, trying to get me to get my, reset my Wi-Fi password. And I was like, that's not what I want. I want to be able to log into my router. But anyway, so after Google searching, I'll save you guys the time. It's basically admin and the password is password all lowercase now i've already went ahead and changed mine once you log in with the password lowercase you will then go ahead and be prompted to automatically change it which will give you the it'll ask you for your old password and then your new password and then confirm that new password so i've already changed it all right now once you're in you'll go down to the left on parent control and in here, you can actually input either keywords that you want to block or uh, specific websites you want to block. So that way, during school hours or all the time, you want them not to go to those websites, uh, you can go ahead and put that in there. Uh, for example, right now, say, my kid wanted to do a search for Minecraft. All right, cool. Uh, Minecraft should, it'll still let you do a, a search for it. Um, let's go for Air Minecraft skins. There we go. So we want to go to that website. Boom. Because we want to research Minecraft skins. This will take a while. So while that's running in the background, I'm going to show you guys how to block a site. Um, for example, uh, you can e you can either add here or add there, and you can add specific times. Uh, if you want to block the website, um, say for example, I want to block um youtube which i guess hold on let me, let me pull up the url for it real quick youtube okay now in here you can say always block so that means it's always blocked i'll never have access to it or you could hit no and then put down what specific times you want it to be blocked say i just want it to be blocked till uh four 4.50, 4 p.m., right? That's when they get off of school time, starts at midnight, and then start when it goes till 4 p.m. You can specify what dates and times, uh, and then go ahead and hit save. You don't want to be blocked on the weekend. All right, cool. Monday through Friday, it's blocked from 12 a.m. till 4 p.m., and that's it. Now, let's go ahead and hit save, and there we go. Our times are saved. Monday through Fridays, it's saved. They shouldn't be able to hit uh, YouTube anymore. Now, let me show you this Minecraft. This is what you get when you block it even if you do a search and it's going to be continuous to turn the search but it won't let you into it now i i've tried to make this video several times before where i just block this and then i show you guys an example hey look it's blocked but what's funny is it takes a little a little bit of while for it to propagate when you first set this up um so you won't see the immediate results right away like uh let me let me bring up another browser real quick and see if if it finally blocked YouTube. Now, because it's already cached on my computer, it might let me into it right away. It, it might block it right away. If I see, the only reason why I bought up a different browser is because it was already cached on my previous browser, which was uh, Edge. So it'll probably let me into it with no problem. But I'm using Google Chrome, which normally drops all your cached uh, data and it'll start with a new browser. We'll let that run for a second and let's see if it opens up in here. See, it's letting it open up an edge because it's got it already cached. But with the new browser, it's still thinking about it. It's like, no, and it'll probably give me the same error that it gave me with the Minecraft. Now, um, like I said, you can also add keywords if you want to 
go ahead and put anything you want to in there, Twitter, whatever. You can put it in there. So if the kid is doing a search for those these specific words, then they will get blocked as soon as it pun punches up. Uh, what else do they have blocked in there? Hold on, let me see. Cancel. We can even do a keyword by Discord. Discord is one of the most annoying applications you can ever have on your kid's computer because they will always load this software. So what we want to do a search. If you if if you, if you guys are computer savvy, you can literally go into your um, control panel on your computer, open up uh, uh, programs, and then delete Discord from the computer. And then you can go ahead and block it here. So when they try to go into Discord to reload it while you're not paying attention, then they should be getting the blocked again. Let's check to see if YouTube got blocked. Well, it's still not coming up on the other browser. Let me see if it comes up. We'll give that some time. Let's see if I can think of other things to talk about on this side. Um, inevitably, uh, this is a great tool with, um, there we go. Hey, look, see, block Discord. Can't even go to the sites for it. So this is a great tool for you parents at home who are frustrated with your kids, who cannot handle them. They, in turn, have no self-discipline to know what sites not to go to and what not to do. You can go ahead and just log on to your router and block it. And then, say, the weekend comes or whatever. Not like I said, you can set specific times or you can set it for always. And then on the weekends, they should be able to surf those sites and do whatever they want to to enjoy themselves. Or if you want to permanently block them during school school year and then open them back up in the summer, all you got to do is just log back into your router, 10.0.0.1, and then go ahead and just delete it. So like this one, I can go ahead and delete. But let's see if it came up. Yeah, there we go. YouTube was blocked on the Chrome browser. So um, I just figured I'd put this out for parents out there frustrated. It's, it's, it's just so annoying not being able to get your kids to focus. And this is possibly one good way to get them to focus. All right. Uh, thank you for your time. And uh, hopefully you guys uh, like this video. I really don't plan to make many more, but I just thought, you know, just passing on some knowledge. Bye.